No question about it. Greece and the rest of Europe facing some difficult decisions this weekend. Can they come together on a deal? And are the latest proposals enough? With us for another perspective here is John Paul DeGioria, co-founder of Paul Mitchell Hair Products and Patron Tequila. He is also half Greek, we should note. Good morning. It's good to see you again. Hey, love you out there. Thank you. Well, let me ask you. I mean, <laughs> it's good to see you too, John. As a half Greek, Greek American businessman and entrepreneur, how do you feel going into a weekend that could determine the fate of Greece inside the euro? For the people, I feel kind of sad. And if people really listen to what's going on over there, the Greek people should be a little upset with their government uh, because of, on the streets of Greece, and people are telling me this left and right, it's the Greek people that haven't benefited from all these bailouts that are coming out. Somehow it gets into the banks and into the, the systems over there, opposed to, to the people, so they're a bit upset. They're a very emotional people. They truly care. They know they got themselves in this mess, or their previous governments has, but I think emotionally, if they could just give a little bit, and the IMF gives a little bit, everyone just gives a little bit, there would be a positive solution. I mean, my gosh, they make the best feta cheese, the best olive oil in the world, so come on, let's give these folks a break. <laughs> But by, by give a little bit, I assume you're talking about actual re debt relief, debt haircuts, which Merkel says is out of the question. No. Well, it's not necessarily debt relief. You could restructure, just restructure the debt. That's all you've got to do. With inflation and everything else taking off, if they take a little more time to pay their debt, no one's going to lose out. Now, the Germans were very upset, and you can't blame them, because until things were changed, Germans worked till the time they were 65 years old and retire. Where in Greece, some people could retire a heck of a lot earlier than that. And that wasn't right. And if, if someone starts forgiving debt, then all the other nations in Europe that are being subsidized right now are going to want that debt forgiven also. So it's probably a bad thing to say, let's forgive the debt. It's a much better thing if they made the debt payable, doable over a longer period of time, letting the economy get back on its feet again. You know, I mean, the economy needs a lot of help, whether it stays in the euro and makes this yep. deal or not. They need you to come out there and build another billion dollar brand in Greece. Do you do business there? And are you considering doing more? Yes, I am doing right now business, obviously, with Paul Mitchell there in Patron. It's interesting that our business is a bit off, obviously, uh, in mainland Greece, but not in the islands. My gosh, Patron is almost everywhere on Mykonos, those other islands. So those areas are doing good because tourists are coming. If tourists will come back to Greece, it'll be a tremendous help. A lot of people are staying away because it's a little violent on the streets there. So the people have got to say, let's be friendly. Yes, we're pissed off, but let's be pissed off in a very civil way and not go breaking windows and threatening people on the streets. This way, if they work together and they look at a positive way to do it, it'll all come back. And yes, I'm looking at doing more, more business in Greece there. They're good people. They just need to know there's hope. They need a positive mental attitude. And by gosh, if I could go over there on Greek TV, I would show them. They say, but when things are bad, how do you turn things around. By gosh, look at this Greek fellow here. Uh, 35 years ago, inflation 12.5%, unemployment 10.5%, interest rate 17%, and I started Paul Mitchell with $700. We believed that we could do it. They just need to believe they could do it, get back at it again, and be unified. And instead of complaining, which they have every right to, let's find all the solutions, the positive attitude to get back at work again, be friendly with everybody so business can come back again. There's a reason for their business dropping 40%. Right. A good reason for it, okay? So be happy, folks. All right. Well, thanks for weighing in, John, Paul. I think we could all use the, a little bit of your positive, th happy there's, outlook. There's, there, there's, there's one more little one I want to throw in there. I saw Very the quickly. Prime Minister of Greece. The Prime Minister of Greece was on TV, and he had a cold sore while he was talking to the nation. So those folks there need a little obvio to put on there to get rid of their, their cold sore so they can have a better presentation. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the, thanks for weighing in there. He, I mean, he is under a lot of stress. I don't know if that causes cold sores or not. But John Paul DeGioia, well, I'll, I'll help. always good to hear from you. Thanks very much, American Peace, businessman and, and billionaire. He's half Greek.